I'm going to show you very quickly how to put sprites into Phaser 3. And I'm going to be using the template that we made in the last video. And if you don't have it, you can just go over to phasergames.com under Shops and Freebies and the Phaser Templates. And the one that you want is the Phaser 3 Basic Template, and that is a free download. And I have it set up in my editor here and under my local host on ZAMP. And then we have a blank canvas. And I have a heart.png in the images folder. But you can use any image that you like. I'm going to go back to scene main here. And the first thing we need to do is to preload the image. And we do that by saying this.load.image. And then we give it a name, a key. I'll just call it heart. And then we give it a path, images slash heart.png. And then we add it to the game in the create function. We give it a variable var my sprite equals this add sprite. And we need an X position and a Y position. And I'll just put it at 300 for the X and 200 for the Y. And then we give it a key, in this case, heart. And now that we have it on stage, we can do all sorts of things with it. For example, we can set the alpha on that to 0.6, which will make it 60% opaque and 40% transparent. We can change the angle of the sprite to, let's say, 45 degrees. My sprite dot angle equals 45. And we can also scale the sprite. My sprite dot set scale 0.5 will set it to 50% of its original state. You can also set the height and width of a sprite, but although it has a height and width property, setting these properties won't do anything. For example, if I say my sprite dot width equals five, five pixels, it doesn't do anything. It just uses the original height and width. And the reason for that is height and width now refer to the image loaded, the original size. What you want to do is set display width. My sprite display width equals 5. And that will change the width. So if I set it to 50 pixels and want to scale it proportionally, I can say my sprite dot scale y equals my sprite dot scale x. And then I can change the size proportionally of that image. And that's the basics of adding sprites into Phaser 3. If you've got any questions or comments, just post them below and I'll be happy to answer them.